Hello, everybody. Hopefully this doesn't pause like the last one. Uh, my name is Daniel Young, owner and founder of Adapted Perspective. I believe it's my purpose, my calling to help you identify your dreams, help you reach your financial freedom destination and maintain it so that you can pass your wealth off to the next generation. I am continuing the meme review. Uh, I mean, honestly, most of the financial memes we all see are trash. They, they look pretty, but they're trash. Um, and it, in order to really evaluate these, you need to know your own financial strategy. So I'm going to use our strategy of investing into closed end funds to then review all of these financial means. Uh, some reminders, this is an unedited video. Uh, who, who really knows what you'll hear in the background? I, I refuse to send these off to some other world country to make these look pretty. The whole point of these videos is raw opinion and complete transparency. Um, I will be going over our financial investment strategy of using closed end funds instead of investing in single entity stocks. I'll, if I show you our closed end fund master, I will go through how we filter and sort that data. Uh, and then the wealth of information housed within that master file. And then, yeah, be completely transparent. Um, so I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a financial strategist. The information contained in the video is on an as-is basis and does not represent personal investment advice. Information is from sources believed reliable, but no guarantee or warranty is made as to its accuracy. If I show you any closed-end funds off our closed-end fund master, um, I may be invested into some of those into some of those funds, but the full transparency of that is we own the ones that are colored in blue. Uh, I assume no liability for your use of the information contained herein and encourage you to educate yourself on the market, to consult with a licensed professional and to know your goals before you invest in anything. And though I encourage you to talk with a licensed professional to get their advice, quite honestly, because I have to, I also encourage you to not be afraid to walk your own path. You know, I don't speak like the herd. I walk in limited company and sometimes I walk alone and I'm okay with that. Uh, so again, this is not the normal closed end fund review. I'll be posting on filtering the, the financial advice we all see at large, that we see at, uh, on the internet at large, uh, Pinterest and all, all the pretty financial memes we see floating around. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm about, the purpose and methodology behind our investment strategy. So using that knowledge and the continued growth of knowledge or wealth of knowledge allows me an easier ability to sift through all the supposed knowledge, all the pretty looking knowledge floating around on the internet. And my goal is not to trash people. Uh, my goal is not to slander anybody. I'm going to use our lens to call out crappy memes and bad advice. And my yeah it's a hard thing be like that's really bad advice but at the same time i'm not slandering and calling out these people and saying they're foolish people it's just bad advice um i'm interested in separating good from bad you know because when it comes to financial advice none of us want want bad financial advice so um memes with no scriptings so i'm looking at my Pinterest account, and I'll show you what that looks like on a shared screen. So when you go to my Pinterest account, it'll have a very similar banner, pretty much the same banner as the Facebook page and then the same banner as the uh, YouTube page. Um, and then these are the current boards. It, it's a hub of information. Uh, it's got some remodel stuff, body ink, uh, income in general. So portfolio income that I mainly talk about on YouTube, passive income that I mainly talk about on Facebook, earned income that I mainly talk about on Facebook, uh, overall battle plan and mindset, 
family time related stuff and just an overall adaptive perspective view of everything encompassing encompassed within life but all the memes are housed here when i started these videos i had like 150 memes and in the last two weeks i've added a lot of just mostly crappy stuff so instead of adding instead of starting at the top and working my way down because everything everything new pops in at the top if you scroll all the way down you end up with this section so i've done three of these videos before an overview and two memes and this is the third actual meme and i started tagging these in subject line and the newer stuff i add notes because i mean this is at the very bottom of the list of 200 and however that was 289 see it gives me a total if i go back yeah 289 as of today and i'm still adding so if you scroll to the very bottom you'll find this one and it looks pretty but like the subject line that i added cool looking meme hiding nothing burger advice. And what do I mean by that? So the title of this is Millionaire in Five Years. That's great. We all want to be more wealthy than we are today. So if you go how, think, how we normally read cartoons, left or right. So we start here, read right. And then we come back down, start here, and read right. So for here, avoid bad debts. The guy is weighed down by debt. This doesn't define bad debts. My version might be completely different than your version. So, okay, so credit card debt, car debt, student loan debt, house debt. What debts do you have? What, which of those are good and which of those are bad? And then you go to create multiple income streams. Okay, well, that's kind of, honestly, that's, that's like no crap for a lot, right? Like if my current full-time job isn't going to, get me to where I need to be in order to accomplish my financial freedom goals and to accomplish my financial freedom dreams, then I'm going to have to figure out another source of income in order to get there. So it's no, no joke. But what's involved in that? And that's why on my page, like this is a meme, but my actual Pinterest page is this. And if you go to my Facebook page, I talk about how to move from earned income into passive income. And if you don't want to do passive income, I talk about how to move into portfolio income. And I talk about portfolio income on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my earned income board, there's a list of all types of earned income. And I added another one today, which is general side hustles, which is probably at the top. So if it doesn't fit into any of this and it's kind of unique on its own, it'll go inside that board, right? So create multiple income streams, no joke. Have a plan, okay? Does anywhere in here mention a plan and how you make a plan? No. So that's also what I talk about on Facebook is how you get from where you are to where you wanna be, how you make the map, and how that plan looks. So you write it out on paper, and then like all of my pages uh, metaphorically hint at, it's navigation. It's like drawing a navigational map. Now, you don't have to make your own treasure map, right? But you should be able to be, you should be able to say, here's where I am, here's where I want to be, and here's how I'm going to get there. And I walk you through that on my own page. On here, the next one, always work hard. What? That's a misnomer. So you and I both, we work hard. But if you're weighed down by bad debt, and if you have no idea how to create multiple income streams, and you don't have a plan, you're going to work hard. You're just not going to go anywhere. A lot of us work hard, but we work on salary. So I can bust my butt and work hard and not actually make anything happen. I, I, I can, uh, sports wise, it's pick a sport, basketball, football, volleyball, swimming, whatever, right? You can work hard in practice and not actually get better. Are you effective in how you're working out and improving? 
right? So you could work out for three hours and get better. You could also work your tail off for three hours and not do anything. So always work hard is just general pandering advice. And honestly, you can work yourself hard and overwork yourself to where you're like this person, you're juggling all these different plates and you're so busy juggling all these different plates that you're not actually doing anything. Uh, keep learning. That's Yes, that's the whole point in the financial freedom journey is that you're never done learning. But that's the whole point of, in life. You know, the, if you're at a point where you're not having fun, the goal is for you to learn so then you can do something different. But it, it, life overall, financially overall, we never stop learning. And my whole moniker at the beginning, right? My goal is to help you reach your financial dreams and maintain it so that you can pass the wealth off. It's not a end goal, meaning it is our end goal, right? Like here's where we are, here's where we, where we want to be, right? But the journey doesn't stop when you reach that spot. The journey, so you hit your financial freedom dreams, right? So you start here, here's where I want to be and you get there, it doesn't stop there. It keeps going. So if you hit your, if you hit your ultimate end all be all dream financially, that's awesome, right? That's the whole point. That's the goal, right? But then we want to maintain that and grow that so you can pass off your wealth to the next generation. If you stop and don't learn anything else, you don't help yourself. And then this last thing, which is hard to see on here. So I hit view image. We'll see if it gets better. Ask for help when in need. Well, you're looking at this because you want help. So let me help you. Find my Facebook page and start to learn about the differences in income. And if you go back to the very beginning of my page, which is almost a year ago, I post every single day about the financial freedom journey and I define it. So I define what that means for me and also say that yours can be completely different. But I put some steps in place of how we initially tackle that problem, right? Or that overall conceptual plan and how you go from one place to the next. But it, for this meme, yeah, it doesn't tell you anything. It looks pretty, but it doesn't do anything for you. So yeah, ask for help when in need. Well, when is that? Like you have, you need help. We get that. I get that. Let me help you. But for the purpose of this meme, ask for help when in need. Well, that hinges on that I've actually, or this meme is actually explained and given you parameters of when you're okay and when you're not okay. Like if this had given you a plan and said, if you're off course, navigational firm, sorry, uh, if you're off course, if you're confused, if this, if that, if the other, then ask for help. Because it's like cause and effect, right? But this meme hasn't done any of that. It looks pretty. It's, but that's it. Like there's nothing there. And that's not to say anything bad about the group that made it. I don't know anything about the group that made it. But the whole point of me making these memes is that I've, en I've encountered so many different memes. Maybe not the whole point of me making these videos about these memes is that I've encountered so many different memes that the vast majority look pretty, like they're easy to read. It's like, huh, that's interesting, save. That's interesting, save. And then you come back to it, and, and I don't know if you do this, but I, I go back and review the things that I post on my boards. Like, what was I thinking at the time? So I'll, I'll post a lot of things and go back. And as I, re, as I started reviewing these financial memes and really looking at them, a lot of them just don't make sense. 
So like a millionaire in five years, have they actually shown you how to be a millionaire in five years? No, but it looks pretty. So you click on it. And that's my problem with them. Like if you're really going to act, if you're really going to give somebody help, then give somebody help. No cloak and daggers, like no mysticism, none of that stuff. Like, yeah, it looks pretty, but this person hasn't helped me become a millionaire in five years at all. It just looks pretty. So I will see. I will continue doing these memes and working through my Pinterest board, the ever expanding, ever lengthening Pinterest board. Um, my goal is to make, or my goal is to release one meme video a week, uh, generally Wednesdays. So if you find a financial meme that I haven't posted about, by all means, share it with me. And I'll happily review it. Uh, if you see something on my site, if you see something on Pinterest, uh, you know, earlier in the queue, or I guess more recently in the queue, by all means, ask me about it. But I really am going to try to stick to progressing through the bottom of the list so that I actually progress through the list. I don't want to jump around and lose my place. Uh, so if you like the content, consider subscribing to my channel, like the videos and that helps me like the videos, but also go to over to my Facebook group and join the group. It's the same banner called, uh, if you search navigate your finances or adapted perspective, navigate your finances, you'll find the group. And I talk about, I, I talk about the types of income on all three platforms, but I, I divide and conquer in that. I talk about earned income and passive income on Facebook. I talk about portfolio income using our portfolio and system on YouTube. And then Pinterest is the hub of ideas. So uh, I'll put the, uh, the Facebook link below. Um, yeah, re remember you're the captain of your ship. And I, I say that seriously. I mean, yeah, it's the it's the nautical metaf metaphor, and I I, I do I, I love figure I love figurative language and figurative imagery, but but when I say this, it's true. You're the captain of your ship. You make all the decisions that impact you. I captain my boat. You need to captain your boat, and that boat will go where you steer it. You have the power to change your life and your financial future. Many people will offer to help you, like I'm doing now. I'm reviewing these financial means. I do portfolio income strategy on this platform. I do other stuff on Facebook, right? And you see all of these crappy financial memes. And some of them are good, but the vast number of them are crappy financial memes. They, don't, they hold no content, no value. They look pretty. And whoever makes them does a great job. They look pretty. They look professional for the most part and well put together. They don't tell you anything, right? So you're going to have to figure out your strategy. And you're going to have to use that strategy to then filter out all this other advice, including my own. If my advice resonates, follow me. Like the videos. Like my channel. Find me on Facebook. Let's, let's talk. But if my advice doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can give me feedback. I'm always open to feedback. But if my advice doesn't resonate with you, then continue your search and find somebody who does. Right? But you're still going to have to evaluate all this advice that's just sitting on the internet and sitting on all these platforms and look at it and see which what's, what's a good fit for you want. But also see what's actually good advice and what's not good advice because you want to do the stuff that works best for you in your own style but you also want to take the best advice for you you don't want to waste your time with all this other stuff so to reiterate all that you're the captain of your ship you have the power to change your life and your financial future many people will offer to help you but only you can make the choice to do it make it happen. Shock your world. It is far easier than culture wants you to know. 
where you can change your financial future and change your destination. You can accomplish your dreams. It's just going to take work. You can do it. Make it happen. Shock your world. This is Daniel Young signing off. I will see y'all on the next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.